going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create callout titles in After Effects. So as you'll see I have a video on screen, this is of my laptop and if I just scrum through it very quickly, it's just showing my keyboard. Now if I come across a bit more, I want my callout title to be on the hash key right here. Now the first step to this, we need to select our video, head over to Tracker and then select Track Camera. Now for this step, it depends on how long your video is because it's going to analyze the video, it's going to find every track point it possibly can and of course the longer your video, the longer this will take. For my video, it's um, 10 seconds or 18 seconds I believe and it will probably take just about 5 minutes to do this part. So you can see at the top left over here, um, there is 912 frames, it's going to go frame by frame and it's also giving me a time remaining. So as you'll see everything is now tracked and if we come across there's these little dots everywhere. Now of course we're focusing on this key right here, the hash key. So uh, find a point which one you like, of course I'm going to pick this blue one right here because it's right on the hash key. All I'm going to do is select create a camera and then I'm going to left click the blue dot and I'm going to right click select create text. Now I'm not going to be changing the text just yet, I'm going to leave it as it is. But you'll see if I play this through right now that that text is going to be tracked there the entire time. You'll see it's not moving but it's right where that blue dot was that we selected at the start. So now what we're going to do is come over to composition, select new composition and I recommend having an 800 by 800. Uh, if you type in 800 and the bottom changes make sure lock aspect ratio is unchecked and select OK. Now what we're going to be doing is creating a line where the text can stem from and the way I'm going to do it is using the pen tool and I'm going to have no fill. The way you do that, select fill and make sure it is selected right here and select OK. Here you choose your stroke colour, I'm going to go with a white and select OK. And now I'm simply just going to, well mine's just going to be a line like that. Now I'm also going to come over here, right click it, rename this and I'm going to call this line. And the reason for that is because we're going to have three other things as well and this will keep it organised and easy for us when we need to come to edit. The next thing I'm going to do is head over to the rectangle tool, this time I will have a fill and I'm going to have a solid colour, OK. I'm just going to keep it at white and I'm going to left click and drag out a box like so. So this box is now here, I'm going to minimise this again, rename this and I'm going to call this, um, I'll just call it box. Now I'm going to do another box except this time there's going to be no fill, it's just going to have an outline and this will all make sense to you once we get to the animation part. So I'm going to head over to the rectangle tool again, I want to make sure the fill is turned off I'm going to have a stroke colour and I'm going to select a nice cyan. Now I'm just going to left click and draw a box around this current box like so. And of course right click this, rename and I'm going to call this box outline. So the first thing I'm going to animate this line. So I'm going to press this arrow here, press transform and all I'm going to be doing is basic animation. I'm going to be using the opacity. So to toggle the animation I'm going to select the clock here. I'm going to set it to zero. I'm then going to come across to one second which is right here and I'm going to set this to 100%. Now the next thing we want to do is left click and highlight these keyframes, right click, select keyframe assist and select easy ease. Now of course you can also press F9, the reason why I'm not doing it is because it's my shortcut for my OBS and it will stop my recording. Fun fact, I recorded this tutorial just before this tutorial, I pressed F9 on this part and I did not record the rest of the tutorial. So I'm going to minimize the line, I'm going to come to box and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to be doing it with the opacity again and right here I want it to be 100%, right at the start I want it to be 0%. Again left click highlight them, right click keyframe assist and easy ease. Now for the final one which is the outline I'm going to do the exact same again except I'm going to offset it. So for the opacity I'm going to toggle the animation, set it to 0 come across to one second and select this back to 100% and then I'm going to left click highlight them, right click keyframe assist easy ease and then I'm going to drag them off to the side a little bit like so. Now this is what the final thing will look like. So I'm going to play it through, as you'll see the line and the box comes up at the same time and the outline comes up a bit delayed. So we are done here, we can head back to our original composition which is this here cut over to our project and of course comp1 is what we just done so we're going to drag and drop this and now what we need to do, we need to make it 3D then we're going to press P on our keyboard, we're going to select the text and press P then where the text is we're going to right, uh, we're going to uh, press ctrl C to copy the position 
And then for comp one, we're going to press control V to paste the position of the text. Now it's completely out of place and we're going to fix that now. So the way we're going to do that, just come across and size this down. I'm going to have mine like this. And then I'm also going to uh, minimize out these and we're going to use the text and just position this where you want it as well. I'm going to have mine right there. I'm going to double click the text and I'm going to change this to hash key. There we go. So that's how I'm going to have it. And you'll see this is now what we have. So I'm going to come to the beginning, play it through, and you will see that the text itself and the comp one is going to stay tracked on that hash key the entire time. Just like that. Very simple. However, we need to choose a time where we want this animation to start. So for example, right here, I want it to come up. So now what we're going to do is select the comp. We're also going to hold control and select the text at the same time. And we're simply going to drag this to this line here where we set out where we want this to start. Now this will be the difference. So I'll play it through. You'll see it's currently not on screen, but when we get to this part, it gets on screen. Now you'll notice if you watch the text, it just appears and that's because we haven't animated it just yet. So we're going to do that right now. So we're going to select the text and we're going to come down here, toggle the animation again. I'm going to set the opacity to zero. I'm then going to come across. I want to want the line to come out first like so. And then I want the text to appear. So 100%. We can minimize this. And now if I play this through, this is the final result as you can see right now it's going to come up like that and it's going to be tracked the entire time you can see i'm moving around quite a lot but the box and the text is staying in that same position we want it to be but that's how easy it is to create call out titles in after effects i hope this tutorial has helped you thank you so much for watching please subscribe right and peace